Guess what? I bought a headless guitar. And I'm going to tell you why. So I grew up in the 80s. While headless guitars like Steinberger's were around, they weren't necessarily the most popular guitars. I mean, a handful of my favorite players were using them. Eddie Van Halen, Vito Brada, I think Johnny Winter was playing some sort of headless guitar. Maybe Leslie West, the guy from Mike and the Mechanics, <laughs> Paul Stanley. I was never really interested in buying a headless guitar. It was just too futuristic. I was always into classic styled guitars. But for the past couple months, actually since Winter Nam, I had been interested in headless guitars. Number one, I heard so many good things about the tuning stability because you get rid of the headstock and the, the angle that the strings break over the nut or whatever, or there's no nut, there's a zero fret, whatever. I heard that they stay in tune pretty good. Number two, the weight was interesting to me. I'm getting old. I'm actually digging lighter guitars now. When I was younger, in my 20s, I was playing a very heavy Les Paul Custom. I thought the heavier the guitar, the better the tone, and that's what it was. As I've gotten older and wiser, I found that I can get pretty good tones out of just about any kind of guitar design. But the thing that made me bite the bullet and finally buy a headless guitar was, recently I just got back from uh, traveling Europe. I had to carry all my gear around through airports, Charo stole my mic fuzzy. Yeah, I had to carry all my gear through different airports, train stations, up and down blocks, getting to the gig, getting to the hotel. It got heavy after a while. Towards the end of the tour, I was hating life. I wanted to have no part in any heavy guitars, much less carrying stuff on my back. In fact, I bought a rolling Pelican case so I don't have to have a backpack anymore. Can you see it? Actually, the night that we left Europe, I was lying in my bed in the hotel at the airport in Stockholm. I logged on trying to find the perfect light guitar. I knew I wanted it to be headless. I had found this guitar on the website and I thought, I'll think about it as soon as I get back to the States. And I put my phone down and try to get some sleep. And then I, I was thinking about it all night. I would wake up, log back on and just like stare at, a, you know, what you do when you're thinking about buying gear. You just kind of stare and make decision, little decisions in your mind going back and forth, back and forth. So finally I, you know, I just said, if I don't buy it, someone else is gonna buy it and then it'll be gone forever, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, I bought it, end of story. So it arrived today and uh, we're gonna do an unboxing and uh, probably just plug it in up here and um, see how it sounds, see how it plays. Are you guys done? Can I do this unboxing? Sit. Good girls. Best girls ever. You wanna do this unboxing? You wanna do this unboxing? Let's do this unboxing. Here we go. Look how light, look how small this is. And look how light this is. Okay, I'll open it. Let's open it. Whoa. Wow, this is super light. This is the uh, Kiesel HH2 Allen Holdsworth signature. Um, it is super light. The scale length is 25 and a half, so it's like a Fender scale length. But this thing, ooh, this is kind of cool. 24 frets, gold. I don't know if you can see that, gold frets. I've never had a, fr a guitar with gold frets. No headstock. I've never had one of these before. This is cool. Uh, this is their hip shot uh, bridge. God. Satin finish. I really dig it. Push pull tone so you can split the coils. Little small toggle switch. That's cool. And it's light. My God. The case it came with is really nice. It's got some uh, neck support. Little baggies in the front. Branding. Of course, Kiesel branding. And it's like the size of like a travel guitar, but it's like a real guitar. This is far out, man. Acoustically, rings like a really nice guitar. Okay, let's do some weights. So the Kiesel in its gig bag, seven and a half pounds. So I'm guessing the, the guitar itself is just right under six pounds. I think it said on the website 5.6. Now the lightest guitar I own, which I just took out last weekend for some fly dates, my LSL Tele T-Bone. 
in the gig bag I've been using, which is an old in case. 18 and a half pounds. I'm already more than half the weight with the new Kiesel. I like those numbers. You guys wanna hear it? Okay, let's hear it. All right, this is the first time I'm uh, plugging the HH2 in. I'm not plugging into anything cool. It's this Fender Mustang Mini. Sorry, Fender. Neck pickup. Bridge pickup. Let me get a clean sound. kind of cool. I don't know if it's the gold frets, but it seems um, almost uh, brighter than normal. Action's pretty low. I mean, the radius is, not sure, maybe like a 14-inch radius. It's pretty flat. It's definitely a shreddy guitar if you want it to be. I see it in the uh, in the monitor. I see the guitar in the monitor. And it's just so weird not seeing a headstock there. It feels like my my hand is gonna fly off the. F and Obviously it's going to be set up with like a low action because Alan liked that. Was the legato playing. Just for the record, I can't play like Alan, so I'm not going to try to. Alright, well there you have it. Uh, I'm going to spend all night playing this guitar and uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing this in uh, some demo videos to come. See you guys later.